All right, so it's all together. I need to button up the wiring inside and shorten some of the wires and tie them up, but what we've got here, temporary power and then the PID, and then, not the PID, the uh, thermal cable, sorry, plate. And I've got three screws in there for power, um, a neutral and then two hots. One hot goes to the blower and the other hot will go to the solenoid. So basically the way it works is you've got your master switch, which basically says your gas is off, your PID comes on, set it to something here, all right, but it won't turn on the relay because it's still off. So you've got your blower that's on, you've got your the uh, variac for the speed for the blower and then you've got hand and then auto so when you flip it to auto the PID takes over and controls the solid state relay when it's in hand mode this will tell you temperature but it doesn't control the relay so it's in hand you got your blower on got it adjusted to where you want it then you start to guess. Now, once you're up to temperature, you can fiddle with whatever you want, then you can switch it into auto. And now this takes over, because when it's in hand, it's just gonna be on. And you can adjust the flow with the flow meter. To turn it off, push and hold. There you go, it's off. So you can also have it in auto mode if you want and then start it same way. But I will show you the inside of it and be prepared. Uh, your brain might explode, mine did, doing this. So, it's a mess, but main power switch um, blower switch we've got our hand and auto switch and then our gas start switch and the gas off switch of course you have our PID controller here's our power coming into the PID here's our wires coming out to the SSR there's our thermal couple our variac um, our 12 volt power supply SSR and then all of our crazy mess. Basically the way it works is I have a little 12 volt relay here and so when you fire it up, let's fire it up here, when you turn it on the PID comes on but nothing happens because the relay is off. It's both bypassing power through it over to our switches so that when you push a switch the relay will click and latch open and sends the power 12 volt power through here to there and we're running but when you switch it to manual mode what you're doing is you're not you when you switch not manual mode when you switch it to automatic mode that switch bypasses the 12 volts that comes from the power supply and pulls the 12 volts from the pid controller so that's how we're able to differentiate it would have been a little bit easier to do if this was a triple pole i mean a uh, triple pole single throw but i only had Two poles. So one side of the switch had to be 12 volts and the other one had to be 110 because I had to be able to latch it. That's what causes the light because these aren't latching switches. So when one, I mean these are the switches, when this one turns on it turns that light on and when this one turns on I mean you get what I'm saying. So all the wires need to be bundled up and put away but there's my these three right here 
This one, that one, and that one. So I can see them. That one, that one, and that one are for the. This one and this one and this one are for the blower, and then this one and that one are for the. The solenoid. So. But, it's pretty sweet. So, yeah, I'll show you. I swear, if I hold it and switch it off. And the reason why it takes time to shut off is because the uh, the PC power supply I'm using, when you cut, basically when I push that button, I am cutting the latch circuit to the relay and cutting the power to the power supply. And it takes a while for it to drain and shut off. And once it shuts off, I'm gonna let the button back out, it's off. When I turn it on, basically it's, it latches it. So, when you run it, because right now we'll switch it into automatic mode and we'll start it here. So, it's an automatic mode. The solid state relay is on, but if I change, so let's change the PID here. We'll notice that it goes off. So it should be pretty slick. I know it's a big jumble of wires, but and I was out here for hours scratching my head trying to figure out how to do it. But it should be pretty slick once it's done and buttoned up and yeah.